Morning campers, I'm feeling a little bit sorry for myself today, which is why I've dressed as a disco ball. My five pound bargain from H&M in the olden days when I could go to shops. Um, I've hurt my calf muscle. So I thought we'd do a little seminar on what to do if you're injured. So I'm not talking about major injuries where you go and see a nurse or you go and see a doctor. I'm talking about a twinge, a ping. So as I was teaching yesterday, muscle in my gastrocnemius, that meaty bit of my calf just pinged. And this morning it's really, really tight. So if you're injured, and I'm not talking about a chronic condition like backache, but if you feel something go, it's usually a sharp pain, as opposed to a real creaky ache, a gnawing ache, which is more what we call chronic. So backache, that's a different thing. You would keep moving gently. Uh, I don't like taking painkillers. What I do like is rice, rest, ice, compression, elevation. So I've got an ice pack from the freezer. Frozen peas would do. Don't put it directly on the bit that's aching. Wrap it in the tea towel. Elevation, in this case, because it's my car, I just literally put my foot up and the pressure, the compression, is resting my leg on that ice pack. However, you can probably get compression things. So you've probably seen runners with uh, like bandage type things around the knees. Uh, this is my husband's running sock, which I'll be putting on later because it goes directly round that meaty part of the calf. So about five, 10 minutes, perhaps when you're watching the telly, you could literally put your feet up if that's the area that's um, ached. So elevation, it can be as simple as putting the foot up. Compression, anything like this, you could use a bandage, anything with a bit of elastic on, anything that's mildly tight. What you don't want to do is have it so tight that you cut off your circulation because that's a whole different thing. I find it hard to do the rest part of it. So uh, when I'm teaching tonight, I'm going to work around it. So think about it, I've hurt my calf muscle. I could do all the seated exercises. I could do the upper body exercises. I could do weights. I could do an upper body day. Uh, in the gym, you often see chaps doing a lot of upper body and they forget their leg day. Well, I'm obviously not going to do a leg day today when I've got an injury at the bottom of my leg. So you'd need to think about working around that. So at the moment, we've got some uh, physiotherapists who are offering physiotherapy online, which is helpful because they can see your range of movement. Sometimes you can see bruising. Obviously, it's not the same as getting hands-on. Uh, some osteopaths at the moment are offering sessions. I know my osteopath sort of gone back and obviously they're doing the hygiene and the cleaning in between sessions. But if something continues nagging at you and it's not clearing up within a couple of days, you really need to get help. And I'm not talking about one of those injuries that make you go, oh, takes your breath away. You'll know with a degree of pain. And I think the more you do workouts, the more you know your own body. I know this is a small muscle ping, a tear, a little injury. Um, I don't wear high heels, I wear trainers a lot, and it went in the middle of a class. Often when it goes, you're not aware of how much you've hurt yourself, because if you're running or teaching or moving, you've got a bit of endorphins, which is the body's natural way of working with exercise, and that's a body's natural painkiller. So that's one of the reasons I don't take painkillers, because I want to know what sort of pain it is. So for instance, if you're new to exercise, the day after exercise, you're going to feel a bit achy anyway. This is not what I'm talking about. That's delayed onset muscle soreness. I get it, older people get it, Olympic athletes get it. So we're not talking about your doms. That can be 24 hours to 48 hours afterwards. But be sensible, we've got to be our own experts at the moment. So I'm going to do my best to rest the best to ice, the best to compress, and the best to elevate. So if you remember rice, if you're injured rice, if it's something like aches and pains, 
perhaps warmth helps you so if I've got backache it's the opposite to the ice and the compression it's just putting a hot water bottle on the bit of my back which tends to go if I've overworked so just sort of the, be honest with yourself if you need to rest take the rest if you need to put your foot up put your foot up frozen peas will do it because it molds around the injury depending on where it is and if it's not cleared up in a couple of days just seek further advice with your nurse or your GP and good luck.